Coffee, brought to you by Beckley Art Center. This week we got to sit down with the band Verdi On, comprised of brother-sister duo Chloe and Bryce Painter. Verdi On were very active in their local music scene, playing shows before the lockdown, and as things progressed they got to take a step back, reevaluate some of their writing, and go forward with some new songs. And they played two originals for us this week, which we're very happy to bring to you now. So without further ado, here's Verdi On with The Villain. I'll get my pistol and put my boots on But I can be old, I was going for the good one But I can be the villain if you want I can't get help from anyone unless it's from my family jealous can't you see it they're all scared of me take that damn chip off your shoulder i don't listen to the devil on my can a girl just live without everyone My composure fooled you, darling. I have always been this storm. Stop thinking that you know the people around you. You don't know the paths they've worn. You don't know the pain they've borne. And I don't play the victim. Take this blame like a and Bryce Painter of Verity On. Did I say that right? Yes. All right, so uh, can you tell us a little bit about what Verity On means, where it comes from? Um, so Verity On is an old French word, and it means green and growing and full of life, and it also means like something that is new, like new to something, doing something. <laughs> so if this is a new project, does it feel kind of like a rebirth for you guys musically? Creatively? Yes. Um, yeah, we've been like kind of starting with, we've got songs that I've written and we're doing just those now so we're getting to like start over and kind of make it be our own vibe that we mm. want because um, like th whenever I started with the previous name I was 11 so we've changed a bit on our style yeah. of music so this has been good. 
So if this is a new style, who are some of uh, the influences or what are some of the things that you're taking in art-wise, uh, musically or just creatively? What are some things that you're doing uh, different or what's inspiring, you know? Well, so nature really has been inspiring me a lot lately with, I mean, the whole green thing, but before that I was already writing about like trees and stuff in my songs. Um, and then like songwriting wise, I've always been very influenced by Taylor Swift. Um, mm -hmm. What's something you're inspired by? One, well, I'd say sound-wise, um, really just, I don't know, a lot of, a lot of kind of indie rock, kind of like we mentioned, uh, Lumineers and things. Mm -hmm. So you guys with your recorded sound, uh, I know you've mentioned to me previously that you like to go for as minimalist kind of post-production as possible. So yeah. with that in mind, do you think when you play live, people can expect to hear what they can get from your albums. Yeah. Um, we yeah, we want to be able to do everything that's on the C D, um, but it'll be more polished and like we've talked about um doing harmonies and things that we can't really yeah. do live. <laughs> but first has been starting to do more harmonies to try yeah. and fill it out. So for, for the most part what you hear on the C D is what you get live. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's something we're we're pretty proud of. Yeah, absolutely. I know when the Beatles actually moved into their latter career, there was no way they could have played some of the songs live because they weren't actually playing live at all. They were just studio a studio band, but mm. they weren't bringing in the, the orchestra and everything yeah. and on tour with them or anything. <laughs> we can't afford that yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. when, uh, people show this virtual tip jar some love. <laughs> um, so is there a favorite venue that you played in the state before the lockdown? Um, I think mine was a festival in Charleston um, because it was really like artsy and there were different medias of art going on and we got to do all original songs and was kind of highlighted during that show. For me, I think it was definitely the State Fair. It's just, there was so much energy. I mean, it was one of the biggest crowds we'd had yeah. at that point and we played multiple times over the day and it just like, we got more comfortable every time yeah. and it just, it, by the end of the day, I felt at home on the stage. So sure, yeah. Yeah, people screamed too. That was it was really cool. Yeah. Um, there's a video on YouTube, and I was listening to. It, I was like, oh my gosh! Like they screamed us in, and then they screamed us out. Like happy screams, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, is there a project or anything that you're looking forward to getting started uh, with the new year? Um, we're gonna be doing a full length CD. Um, we're, right now we're working on figuring out like the theme that we want, what songs we want, and then polishing them up, getting them to be, you know, in their entirety be perfect. Um, and then finding places to actually go and record it at. Yeah. So are you gonna play anything from your newest release for us today? Um, these are all songs that we haven't recorded yet. Um, they're like pretty new. I think this year is when I wrote both of them. Yeah. So. Sure, so this is the, I guess, would it be correct in saying this is the first performance of these songs? I think... I believe so. I've done the Depressed Chick one, but I don't know if we've done the Villain one. <laughs> that one's more dark, <laughs> and I've been like, <laughs> kind of holding back on, on us performing that. One of the drum set whenever we did it. Cool, so this is a debut video even mm -hmm. for Veridion. Well, is there a place that people can go and find your music online for downloads or streams? Yes, um, our website, verdiantband.com, and then also on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Mm -hmm. But all the links to that are on the website. Oh, sure, and of course, in the link to this video, we'll have their virtual tip jar and the Beckley Art Center's virtual tip jar. If you can support anything, I'm sure we'd all appreciate it. Um, we're gonna get into the music now. This has been Verdiant. Thank you, guys. Thank you. But I'm okay, I guess You think I can save you Oh, how tragic But it is what it is And I hate it And I tell you I don't think that I'll believe In fairy tales again 
You like all say I can't go on, can't live like this. You forget once I believed I really did, and it broke my heart. It just keeps breaking my heart. I'm just some depressed chicken, a thrift store sundress. But I'm okay, I guess You think I can save you Oh, how tragic But it is what it is And I hate it And I hate walking think I would save you if I could save me too, but I can't. This is what it is and I hate it, but this is what it is even if I hate it. Well, that's it for our second episode of Midnight Coffee. Big thanks to Verity On, Chloe and Bryce Painter for stopping by our studio and playing some sweet tunes for us. If you'd like to know more information about some exhibits, showcases, and classes coming up, please check out BeckleyArtCenter.com for all that information. If you'd like to donate to help us out with what we're doing here or donate to the artists, you can check the link in the description. That's it for our second episode. I'm Seth Hughes. Thanks for watching.